not just the scathing indictment of Suresh Kalmadi and how the Prime Minister's office was aware, the CAG report on the Games Village has also exposed the housing scam. Senior editor Shunjoy Chaudhary joining us from the capital. Shunjoy, clearly it seems one scam after the other coming out, but this one specifically putting the scanner on the DDA and how the entire bidding process was not very clean. Yes, absolutely. It's almost like peeling an onion, Maruf, because once you unearth one scam, you find another one. And if the CWG is one big scam, you find this housing scam, which appears to be a major, major scam. And this is how it really worked. Well, first of all, it was two or three companies were involved. One of the companies, according to the CAG report, is MR. Now, the initial applications of MR, according to the CAG, was not acceptable or not complete. Now, there were four uh, MR companies that were involved in all this. Of these four MR companies, only one of them fulfilled all the qualifications necessary to go in for the housing project, which was worth hundreds and hundreds of crores. We are referring to the uh, CWG village uh, near the banks of the Yamuna. Then after that, there were financial problems of these uh, companies, which the CAG report finds unacceptable. Finally, it got to two firms, MR on one hand and DLF on the other hand. And of the two, DLF, according to the CAG report, was rejected immediately and MR became the single company. And MR got it regardless of what the CAG report says, which says very clearly that MR was ineligible. Maruk? Shinjoy Chaudhary, they're giving us more details, both Shinjoy and Poonam getting us details of what has clearly become a bigger scam now that uh, the CWG report that has been given by the CAG, uh, the real copy here with Times